So tonight, as we know, is about thinking forward. And um, I was given a little phrase to explore. The phrase is, don't curse the darkness, light a candle. Um, so while I've been preparing this uh, talk since this morning's breakfast, um, I've been thinking about this and what does that mean? Um, and I thought that in order to um, not curse the darkness and to light a candle, we, we need to have hope. We need to have hope that things can change. But hope in itself is insufficient, of course. Y you, know, you need action in order to bring them about. So we need, as well as hope, a deep-rooted conviction that our actions today will, re will right tomorrow's future. So in order to light a candle, to eradicate darkness, we need hope and we need a deep-rooted conviction that today's actions will write tomorrow's future. Um, nature. Nature is obviously a very good thing to turn to. Um, and we see this, you know, a cold object requires heat to be added to it. You can't remove cold. A dark room requires energy in the form of light. Um, it's the same in our individual lives. It's the same for our collective lives. Uh, energy, effort, these things are required to make change. Um, I use a, an example that I like. Um, you know, oppression is something that the, the world has unfortunately experienced throughout history. It does today as well, and unfortunately, it will probably continue to do so um, in the near future, at least. Um, and it is condemnable. Oppression is entirely condemnable, um, no matter what form it takes. Um, but our reaction to oppression is a choice. So following the 1979 uh, Iranian Revolution, many minorities were persecuted for various reasons. Uh, one minority that was persecuted was the Baha'i community, and um, they were denied access to education. So in the face of this oppression, um, they, they wouldn't accept it. You know, they thought, actually, uh, it's not okay that our children won't be educated, and they resolved to create an educational system for their young people. So they didn't, uh, there was no uh, revolt or a violent um, reaction. Um, rather, they set about a uh, university, basically, an underground university system. Um, today, uh, you know, 30 years later, um, that's a very well-respected uh, educational institution. Um, in fact, respected by Lancaster University and, and accepted by this university, as well as many other Western universities. And I just think that's such a shining example of um, deciding to light a candle in the face of darkness rather than, you know, just bemoan your plight. Um, closer to home, you know, uh, community life, uh, it seems to be at an all-time low. Um, there's very little interaction between neighbors, never mind positive interaction between neighbors. Um, but, it's, but it's easy to change, you know, just a smile can go a long way in the first instance. Um, but as well, it can be a little bit more systematic, and the uh, Ruhi Institute offers courses that allow people to systematize their efforts to build stronger, more vibrant communities. Um, like uh, just a little example, for example, my, my wife and some of uh, our friends run classes for children, and it's very simple. They're little moral education classes for small children. It's very fun. Families come together, eat food, do things with kids. It's great. But at its core, is actually something very profound. It is an example of people, of everyday, regular people, noticing something that they don't like, and then making a difference, making a change, taking simple daily steps to effect positive change. The future will largely be determined by the extent to which everyone sees problems and solves them, sees darkness and lights candles. Um, unfortunately, many people, though, today are disempowered and you know they, they struggle to take control of life. We have a blame culture, you know, uh, political progress. Teachers blame parents for the lack of their children's discipline. Um, you know, it's, it's it's very much like this. Sometimes these things are justifiable, but rarely, rarely is this ever a stimulus for change. Um, so you know, let's follow the example of the outstanding speakers that we've had tonight. People who have, who have noticed things and then dedicated their lives or a number of years to effect a change. Um, I think it would be great if we could follow their example on a day-to-day -day basis. Follow the example of that community in Iran which, in the face of grievous systematic oppression, actually just solved their problem very creatively. Um, like, 
I was also flicking through my newsfeed on my way here, probably again a bad idea just before giving a speech, I probably should have been preparing more. But I noticed something. Uh, my cousin has been traveling and he is in Nepal, which as we know is uh, having a bit of a tough time at the moment. So he just, his status was just his bank details and he encouraged his friends to transfer him some funds and he's put this to good work. In a few days, he has uh, got together 720 kilograms of rice, 1,320 liters of water, a number of tents, tarpaulins, all kinds of things. This is a 23-year-old guy on holiday. And <laughs> just with a simple um, status, he's managed to affect this kind of change. Positivity is a mindset, it's a choice. If I told you that stripes were in fashion, then you would see stripes everywhere. You'd suddenly notice, oh yeah, that guy's in stripes. Oh yeah, there's stripes over there. If, if we choose to see positivity, if we choose to see solutions rather than to see problems, then that's exactly what we will see. Um, we need to become empowered to take a change, to really, you know, these speakers tonight, for them to be our example. Um, Success in any endeavor, whether that's um, our academic pursuits, whether it's our career, a, a relationship, even the pursuit of a hobby, success in any endeavor can simply be defined as going forward one more time than we fail. Success is going forward one more time than we fail. So <laughs> let us think forward, let us think towards succeeding at our endeavors to build a brighter future, let us light a candle where others perceive darkness. Thank you very much.